Today is Thursday, which means it's riffs on the radio. Um, I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Don't worry, it's not contagious. It's not what I think it is. But if it is, I'm well hard, obviously, aren't I? Powering on through, bringing you the content that you deserve. But obviously, we already knew that. I was going to do a Bon Jovi tune that cropped up on the Radio 2 playlist this week, but it was a little bit simple. It was just a minor chord arpeggio or something like that. I didn't really listen too much. I liked it and I thought, you know what, it's going to be um, relevant. It's guitar based. However, I wasn't blown away and I was like, eh. Now, admittedly, somehow um, the lemon twigs had flown on by me. I've never heard them before. And I heard this tune and I was immediately transported back to late 60s, early 70s. I think these guys are amazing. For those of you that don't know them, they're from New York. They look somewhere between Bowie and, and Jagger, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, the, the, the song is really cool and it's full of catchy guitar licks. So I thought this would make a banging riffs on the radio. I was speaking to Gab before telling her what I was going to do and she actually said a year ago she had a chance to go and see uh, the Lemon Twigs at the Roundhouse but something came up and she couldn't go in the end. But it looked like it was maybe meant to be that I or we would discover them. You know what I'm going to say. Right up there, in it comes, tabs on the Patreon. If you want it, go get it. I would appreciate the support. Isn't it crap though? Because like, when you have like a little bit of a weird throat going on, I feel like it zaps all the life out of me. And that's just crap. So probably gonna have to have a brew dog after I finish this lesson. first part of the solo we're going to learn goes like this. We're going to start on the fourth fret of the A with the index finger, the note C sharp. Immediately slide into the eight on the A with the third finger. We're going to walk up a little pentatonic box shape on the six, eight on the D, index third, and then six, eight on the G, index third. Then go into the 10th fret of the G with the third finger. Sounds like he really rattles um, the, uh, the tram here, but um, I like to use vibrato, not a massive user of the bar. It's quite wild and very quick. You could use the bar, like I said, but uh, I kind of have mine locked off. So after you've played that 10th fret with some vibrato, we're going to use our second finger to hit the nine on the B and then we're going to go up to the six and the nine on the high E. And we go back and forth twice. Now we take that ninth fret and we bend it up a whole step. So two frets. We let it down. That's the first part. Here it is at full speed. So the second part is that really cool, fast little run in the middle. So we start with our index finger on the sixth fret of the high E, and then we're gonna hammer on pull off to the nine with the pinky, nice and quick straight over to the nine on the B, and then back to the six on the E. We're now gonna pull off from the nine on the B to the six on the B, 
and then hit the eight on the G with the third finger before going back to the six on the B. Now we have this little blues lick. So, pinky on the ninth fret of the G, pull off to the eight, and then pull off to the six. All in one go. Down to the third finger on the eighth fret of the D, and then back to the six on the G. All together. Then we've got this lick. So that's a quick pull off on the eighth fret of the G to the six. Slide into the 10. Nine on the B with the index finger. 11 on the B with the third. Back to the index, but we're gonna push that up. And it goes pretty much um, a whole step, which is quite difficult with the index finger. But if it's a little bit flat, that's okay. And then we resolve with the uh, second finger on the 10th fret of the G. All together. So the last part of the solo goes like this. Start with our third finger on the nine on the B, slide to the 11. Go to the index finger on the high E on the nine, then to the 11, and then the 13, and then the 16. So on the way up, you can give it a tiny bit of vibrato just to make it a little bit more musical. You don't have much time there because we're moving quite quick, but it does make it sound better in my opinion. We're now way up high on the 18th fret of the high E. And we go back and forth between the 18 and the 16. Third and first fingers. And then we go all the way up to 21 with the third finger. Stay on that 21st fret and bend it up a whole step. Let it down, back to the 21. Come down to the 16th fret, the high E, and we're gonna bend that up and down a whole step. And then very quickly, we're gonna pick the 13 on the high E, 16 on the B, and 14 on the B. Finishing on that C sharp again. Same note that we started on. So slowly, that last part goes like this. All together, you should have something like this. Gab, I've finished recording now. C can you get me a punk IPA, please? C can you bring it in here? Yeah. Uh, well, they're probably, yeah, in a glass, because there's probably less chance of me getting coronavirus. Can I have it in my only ball glass? I, I can pour it though. I'm not that lazy. Thanks. Bye. What, what are you doing now, Monsieur? Oh. Got to do students' homework for them. Like, You're doing homework for your students no, now. Asking them. That's cheating. Oh, no, 
Imagine if I did like I practiced for my students <laughs> and then they just got really good, like me. Can I have a sip? Can you have a sip? Mm -hmm. No, it's my beer. Please. You, you should get Vagabond anyway, because they're gluten free. I really enjoyed having a sip of that the other day. Well, a sip is all you're getting. A sip, a sip, sip. A sip, a sip, sip. Come on, you can have first sip. I'm absolutely gasping, so hurry up. Mm. Mm. All right, don't rub it in. Oh my God. Right. Look at that. Can't buy that. Um, oh, I've done that one, oh, it's worrying how much I like that. It's concerning. Subscribe, ring the bell, smash the like button if you're into that. Nick that line. Drop me a comment. Don't know why I'm looking over there. Drop me a comment. Um, if anything comes out on the radio between now and the third Thursday of next month, um, let me know. I can't stop thinking about this beer, so that's your lot. I'm gonna have to go. <clears throat> Hopefully this brew dog will cure what's going on in the throat. Um, I'm sure if I went to a GP, they would say the same thing. All right, as Neil Buchanan would say from Art Attack, ta -da!